If you're not aware, Japan has different laws than we do in the West or the United States. That might be obvious, but did you know that there are laws about how large a bike can be before it is no longer considered a bike? Because of these laws, the Japanese company Envision has set out to design a cargo bike that doesn't exceed the 75 inch length limitations. That bike is called the Streak, and we'll be covering it in this video. When limitations are in place, people look to creativity to circumvent them. And the streak goes about it in one of the most unique ways we've seen. You will no doubt immediately notice the chassis design on this Japanese e-trike. A large looped body offers room for cargo while remaining compact enough for the tight city streets found throughout Japan. As you may have noticed, the seat sits in an elevated position above the 20-inch rear wheel. The looped frame itself measures 26 inches long and 25 inches high. This gives the company space for two cargo platforms, with a second removable platform for the top half. With these cargo implements in place, you're looking at loads of up to 132 pounds. This sort of design just wouldn't work with a bike, so the company designed the Streak with two independent front tires to counteract the balance issues that could arise, especially at max capacity. The company also designed the trike with a 250-watt mid-drive motor with pedal assistance. That, paired with the 374-watt-hour battery, adds up to a range of around 75 miles while in eco mode or around 31 miles while in power mode. Of course, depending on your cargo and route, you can potentially expect less range. The latest prototype for the Streak is nearly ready for production, but it has been delayed because of COVID. When it does set out for sales, you can expect retail prices to sit around $3,000. And stick around for our honorable mentions right after this. India hasn't always been a beacon of green environmental conscience. Still, the government's recent pledge to have 30% of all new car sales electric by 2030 is very encouraging. To help keep businesses, startups, and entrepreneurs involved and invested, India set up its National Electric Mobility Mission, which created generous subsidies and tax benefits for EV sales and production incentives to encourage local EV design and manufacturing. The country had already started to see a significant increase in interest and demand for EV products over the past year as a result, despite the pandemic dramatically slowing down production. Green Design Technologies, a startup based in Bangalore in the south of India, began its journey building low-maintenance scooters for warehouse workers. Their entry into the low-speed electric vehicle market came via the Earway NXP500, a low-cost, low-speed e-trike. A steel frame surrounds the 48-volt lithium-ion battery and 500-watt motor that attaches to the rear wheel via reduction chain drive. A full charge can take up to 6 hours for a range of around 12 and a half miles. The Earway NXP500 is shipping globally, most famously through Amazon, as Green Design Technologies reinvests into further product development, research, and new innovative design. In 2020, EUS Next was created by its parent company, EUS. The goal of this new branch was simple, but the execution would be another matter. It was built as a social business to advocate EUS's social and design initiatives. After only a couple of years, they have reached many milestones to achieve those goals, such as working in global and health sanitation for the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. They also work with the Red Cross, research institutions such as the Georgia Tech Research Institution, the Bristol Robotics Laboratory, and many more. One of their recent designs tackles the plastic pollution problem with an electric cargo bike called the ZUV. So what is the ZUV exactly? ZUV stands for Zero Emission Utility Vehicle. It is being designed in collaboration with the new RAW Research and Design Studio from Rotterdam. 
This project was actually commissioned by a museum in Austria for the Change 2021's Climate Care Exhibition. Each chassis is 3D printed from 154 pounds of supermarket plastic waste. The ZUV utilizes a tricycle design for better urban stability and features a rib chassis. The rear wheel hub houses the motor and the bike sees a top speed of 25 miles per hour when using only the throttle. Still, opportunities to replace it with a more powerful motor seem likely. You're looking at a range of around 31 miles per charge. The trike can accommodate a laden weight of up to 661 pounds, with the ZUV itself coming in at a hefty 220 pounds. The cargo box can either be strapped to the trike to transport and keep the contents secure, or removed if you don't need that extra weight or want to take on a passenger. Unfortunately, if you want one for yourself, the company has no plans to put the SUV into production right now. As always, thank you for watching and we hope you enjoyed the video. Do you think this design has merit? Do you believe reusing plastic waste as a building material is the solution? Head down to the comment section and leave some feedback for us. Now, stick around for our honorable mentions. The way things sit right now, around 90% of drivers use vehicles that are too expensive, polluting, and oversized for what is ultimately very short distances. Arkimoto is just one player who wants to tackle that inefficiency and help the globe reach a greener pasture and future. Their recent steps include expanding their organization by quintupling the size of their operations and starting to mass produce their line of personal vehicles which offer a much more energy efficient and cleaner alternative to automobiles. One of those personal vehicles is their pedal generator tilting e-trike, codenamed the Mean Lean Machine. Their e-trike will be able to cut turns like its two-wheeled contemporaries by utilizing Arkimoto's patented lean technology, but with the stability and traction of three wheels. While info on their tough trike is limited, we know they aim for a range of more than 200 miles per charge, with each wheel powered by its own electric motor hub. The trike works without chains or belt drives, thanks to a pedal generator that can accumulate energy and easily be used by the thumb throttle. There are also talks of workout implements in the future, so that you can set it up in your home and get some cardio in. Let us know if you want to see more from Arkimoto and their electric trike later this year upon release. If you enjoyed this video, you could help us out by hitting the like button, subscribe, and keep up to date on future posts.